Hey everyone, I'm Anna Dolosky. The mind is a mysterious thing. It has a lot of different jobs and one of them is to remember a lot of different things. And sometimes memories get crisscrossed. In fact, do you feel like we've had this conversation before? If you said yes, you're not alone. You may be experiencing something called deja vu. Deja vu is the phenomenon of having the strong sensation that an event or experience you are currently having has already happened before. It's French for literally already seen. See, deja vu is still a mystery to scientists, but what we do know is a lot more scientific than we think. A French researcher was the first person to use the term deja vu in a book, but Sigmund Freud theorized that deja vu experiences resulted from repressed desires or memories related to a stressful event that people could no longer access by memory. That's not surprising coming from Freud. We also know that deja vu often happens in brains that are thought to be good at spotting familiarities and that have overall better memory which is why young people most often experience deja vu. As the mind ages, we're less likely to be able to spot a familiar moment when it occurs. Some scientists have also linked deja vu to the temporal lobe because studies have shown people with temporal lobe epilepsy often report having deja vu just before a seizure. In those people without epilepsy, deja vu could be a mini seizure, but one that doesn't cause a problem because it stops before it goes too far. In a study from Duke University, scientists showed photographs of various locations to a group of students and then asked them which locations looked familiar. Prior to this, scientists flash photographs on the screen at subliminal speeds, long enough for the brains to register them, but not long enough for the subjects to be consciously aware. In the experiment, the images that had been subliminally shown were familiar at a higher rate than those that were not. Based on the results, Dr. Alan Brown and his colleagues call this the cell phone theory. When having a phone conversation, we're not truly engaged in the world around us, though our brains still register the surroundings. In other words, those memories stay tucked in our brains until we happen to see them again, which is why we get the feeling like we've been there before. Mm, that's a lot less exciting than thinking of deja vu as a form of premonition or some sort of time travel mystery. Although, some scientists say deja vu could be part of precognitive dreams. An early 1900s Oxford University study showed nearly 13% of the subject's dreams had similarities with future events. To see more stories like this, like us on Facebook, visit our website, acsh.org. Don't forget while you're there, you can also sign up for your daily dose of news delivered straight to your inbox. For The Council, I'm Anna Dolosky.